How do I find new places to hunt? How do I find where the ducks are at? Where do I even start? These are questions that every duck hunter faces at some point in their journey. And today I'm going to give you three key terrain features that will have you well on your way to your next good duck hunt. I'm Jake Maxwell. You're watching Chasing Green where it's all things duck hunting. So consider subscribing if you're into that. Finding the ducks is the name of the game. As Rick Dunn, the founder of Echo Calls always says, the number one rule of a duck hunter is go where the ducks are. So I'm going to tell you some places that have always been big producers for me as far as getting me under the ducks. Now I've chased ducks all over the country and no matter where I go, this first terrain type always produces. It is by far the most used terrain feature on the landscape by ducks, no matter the state. And that first terrain feature is rivers. Ducks use rivers to loaf, to feed, to get water. And this is especially true when everything is frozen. That is when rivers are at their best. But ducks mostly use rivers as highways. They're just a landmark that ducks use to get from point A to point B. And this is true regardless of the conditions. Rivers are the ducks interstate. So if I'm new to an area and I have no leads and no idea where to go, the first thing I'm looking for is where are the rivers? And the first step is e-scouting. And while I'm e-scouting, I'm looking for suitable duck habitat in the river, along the river. Does it have oxbows? Does it have low-lying marshes beside it? Does it flow into a lake? These are all things that make a huge difference on whether a river is going to be good or not. During my e-scouting, I'm also looking for good vantage points. Where can I park or walk and get a good view of what's flying the river? A lot of times if I can get up on higher ground and look over the river valley, that's something I'm going to do. And keep in mind, ducks don't always fly directly down the river channel. Their flight path may be a quarter mile off the river, but they're still using it as a guide to get where they're going. And along those same lines, I don't always end up hunting the river. Uh, but it will usually at least get me started in the right direction because a lot of times if there's ducks in the general area, you will be able to see some kind of sign of their presence along the rivers. Now this next one is also really good in every state I've ever been to, but it is even better in drier climates where there's less natural water. And the thing I'm referring to is lakes. Big concentrations of water are just going to hold ducks. So that's a good place to start if you have no other leads. And like rivers, I may not actually end up hunting the lakes, but just by getting around them and poking around, looking around, uh, around the lake and the surroundings, it will usually tip me off as to whether there's ducks in that area in general or not. The ducks will fly from the lakes to nearby feeds and lows. So if there's very many ducks there, you're gonna see some type of traffic. Also, a lot of lakes typically have creeks and rivers that flow into them, so they kind of act as a sort of a hub that all the waterways end up at. And also, like rivers, lakes can be even better when everything's frozen. I will say this last one is not as consistent as the first two, but it can definitely produce ducks at certain times. Now, just like rivers are landmarks that ducks use to travel, big ridges are also landmarks ducks use to travel. Where hill country drops off into the flatland, into uh, the floodplain, basically anywhere that a big ridge drops off into suitable duck habitat, the ducks will follow that transition line um, the topo change and it can be a really good place to uh, kind of funnel the ducks down that that travel corridor again not always a sure thing but anytime i see this type of setup i always spend a little more time looking in that area if you want to see some more of my tip videos click this playlist right here if you want to see the best hunt of my lifetime an insane hunt you got to check it out check out this video here at the bottom thanks for watching lord willing i'll catch you next time right here on chasing green